Hello again. I wanted to make a short video about this SRAM Gigapipe. So Truvative bottom bracket and I thought, yo, Jesus, these are bad. I used this on my touring bike and it was a bit yeah, loose on one side, so there was play on the drive side. And I went riding along with it for a bit longer and at some point I almost got stuck. The bearings got um, caught up in each other or something. I just made it home and thought, okay, I need a new bottom bracket, which one? I had a look and I said, go to the square taper bottom bracket and I need to change the cranks as well. So in the end I thought, okay, I'll buy this one, even though I read the reviews on these bottom brackets that they don't last very long. And yeah, that's that, that's exactly the issue that I had again with this one. So this was a second-hand bike. It came with these bottom brackets, and it was uh, it was a, it was fine. But I used it fairly fairly um, yeah. How, how should I call it? I use it a lot, and I use it. I ride hard with it. So perhaps it doesn't last as long with me as with most people. But I wanted to have a look at it, so I cut it off, the aluminium ring and then the bearings, there are races here. So the bearings run on these, on the axle, directly on the axle, but these are absolutely tiny. It's like 2.3 millimeters, it was originally 2.38 I think, because that's the uh, same size, 2.38 is the same as in the pedals that I checked uh, recently. For Shimano, don't really like those. It's just, it's just tiny. It's, it, you get issues with that. <clears throat> In any case, I cut it open to see what it's like. So on the left-hand side, there are cartridge bearings. These are cartridge bearings. These are running directly on the axle. And these are always the ones that fail. Incredibly bad design. You can't really fix them. Also, if, if there were cartridge bearings and this one would be easy to take off, this aluminium part, then you could just replace everything, but you can't. These are uh, very hard to get off. You need to cut off one side and then you can uh, get these off and then remove this and put these in a vise and then you can hammer it out uh, by putting it on a vise and then hammer the axle. That's not a problem, but yeah, it should be some kind of screw mechanism, but it isn't. This is just an incredibly bad design. This doesn't last long and it has, also because it has tiny bearings. You can't replace those bearings. You can't replace, that, replace these bearings because you can't get at them without doing something destructive. Oh my god, this is such a stupid design. In any case, if you have such bearings, the gigapipe from Truvative, I would re suggest replacing it with a square taper bottom bracket, which is cheap. I uh, got cranks as well, of course, you need new cranks. And since then I don't have any problems anymore. I've never had any problems with square taper bottom brackets. Uh, in any case, they last a long time, these are just junk. Okay, see you in the next video.